Now, even if it was good for your teeth, which the American Dental Association five years ago had to admit, no, that's not true. Fractures the teeth, causes dental fluorosis. My dad's a dentist. I had to bring him the documents in the last decade. He now agrees with me. He was never a bad guy. He just believed the system. Folks, you've got to look at this for yourself. You've got to find out what this is doing to you and your family. Don't you love your children? But, but let's say it was even good for us. Why is it forced medication? That is illegal on every front. It is illegal to put something in the water supply that they say is good for you and is a medication. But let's say it was good for your teeth, which it isn't. That's like saying, well, uh, I, I want to put sunscreen on so I don't get too much sun, so I'm going to drink a big glass of sunscreen. It's supposedly for your teeth. Why don't you just brush your teeth? Oh, what's it say on the back of the toothpaste package? Look, look for yourself. It says, if you ingest more than a piece sigh of this, call poison control immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, long before I knew about fluoride being deadly, when I was a little kid, I'd get a fluoride treatment or something, I'd get sick for days have with headaches. They're poisoning all of us. We'll be back with Aaron Dykes. Because they're now adding it to your food as well. Chemical attack on you and your family. Okay, I'm gonna get back into I'm gonna get back into the forced drugging of the population with a deadly chemical weapon that precipitates out in the body, builds up, your body sheds almost zero of the fluoride that you come in contact with your life. They put aluminum, they put mercury in the water as well as part of this program. That's what's being put in your water under the name of fluoride. Fluoride is bad enough, deadly poison, but they add all these other chemicals. Enjoy your Alzheimer's, enjoy your cancer, enjoy it all. But on a positive note, Jesse Ventura's book is now number two on the Amazon chart in the top ten of all the other major charts. One week out, we have the new book in hardcover, American Conspiracies Discounted. It's twenty four ninety five at Infowars.com. It's nineteen ninety five, and you get one of my films free, the film of your choice free, uh, there on the special page when you get the book. That's a forty four ninety five value. That's more than half off. American Conspiracies with Jesse Ventura. Two other program notes on that. He was on with us for an hour and 20 minutes Friday and went ahead and announced what I've been barred from announcing. American uh, Conspiracies author Jesse Ventura's top TV show, number one on True TV, beat out all the other cable networks, but Fox is getting a second bigger series, bigger budget. I'm a consultant. I appeared in some of the shows. I'll be in more of the shows, probably as a reporter. Very exciting news there. And Ventura had the idea that he wants to come down to Austin so I get a week off uh, in the next few months and co-host for a week or or, or host for a week. So uh, look for that. Uh, the truth is really starting uh, to get out there, and the people are getting more and more hungry uh, for hardcore information uh, that we provide here on this radio show, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., and then, of course, back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Okay, I'm begging listeners. I know you were conditioned and brainwashed in school and told kooks talk about how fluoride's bad for you in the water and it's meant to make you passive. Just like you were told kooks warn you about banks bankrupting things by design and setting up a world government. Now it's all being announced. Kooks say that your laptop, built-in camera, and microphone is listening to you and watching you. It's now mainstream admitted news. They always tell you that so you won't research. But if you'll just go to Infowars.com and read this one article by Kurt Nemo and click on all the links to the U.S. government, to other governments, to major universities, you will see the facts for yourself. There is no longer any more time for denial, ladies and gentlemen. The facts are out. In fact, I want to play a short clip first from Fox News just two months ago with the Japanese government looking at putting lithium, another uh, 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 toxic chemical that they give psychotics, in the water supply. Because if it makes one of us not commit suicide, if it makes us more docile, lithium must be good. That's also being proposed by White House science czar John P. Holdren. They are pushing the forced medication of the public. But here's the news. It's already going on by stealth. 
Here's that clip. C32 now with only two weeks left of 2009. We're taking a look back at some of the most interesting healthcare discoveries of the past year. Joining us is Fox 9 medical expert, Dr. Arkel Giorgio, to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, the U.S. has been adding a fluoride to its public water supply for decades, and that's, of course, to prevent tooth decay. Well, now researchers from Japan are suggesting that we add lithium. So why is that? Well, they're actually not suggesting it, but they're certainly looking into it. Lithium is a medication that in prescription dooses treats mood disorders in people with bipolar disorder or manic depressive illness. Okay, that's enough. researchers found in Japan... I've also got other clips where they say that mercury is good for your brain. In fact, cue that up. Mercury is good for your brain. KI News, Austin, Texas. But this was a news feed. The CBS Broadcast Center sent this out to all their affiliates with a video package and the text, and then this was read locally on the news nationwide, a federal study saying mercury is good for your brain. We'll play that once they've had time to... Oh, they found it. Wow, quick on the go there. Uh, let's go ahead and play the news saying mercury is good for your brain. Lithium, fluoride, mercury, mm, good. Here it is. Mercury-containing vaccines may have on kids. A life-saving device wins over-the-counter approval by the FDA. And sick of your glasses and contact lenses, a new corrective eye surgery is approved today. Here's tonight's medical headlines with Medical Watch reporter Seema Mather. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. And by the way, I have two news articles and one from the FDA now saying they've recalled the H1N1 vaccine that it's dangerous. It's in the National Post in Canada and it's on the FDA website, but nowhere else that I've seen. Just, oh, by the way, it was bad for you and didn't protect you and it's dangerous. So, so are we the kooks saying mercury's not good for your brain? Fluoride's not good for your brain. Uh, lithium shouldn't be put in our water. They're all basically out there conditioning you, getting you ready to accept this. I want to go to Aaron Dykes because two weeks ago he did a bunch of research and then got busy and never wrote the article because Aaron does video editing. He updates InfoWars.com and he writes incredible investigative reports uh, because his favorite brand of apple juice, he saw them complaining in California. Uh, it, you know, it's that brand that won the World's Fair over 100 years ago. That they're mad because they use municipal water and they've done it for over a hundred years and they're about to add fluoride to it. And the city said, we'll pay to put machines in, uh, where it takes the fluoride out for you. And then the article out of California said, oh, everybody has rotten teeth now and use some fake statistics. So Aaron called a couple of dentists locally and they said, what are they talking about? This is ridiculous. The, the, the American Dental Association says Pete, that fluoride isn't even good now. But that's something else that's a fact that most people don't know. Aaron, tell us about this. Yeah, it's incredible. On the one hand, it's nice to know this company, Martinelli, uh, cares about what goes into their products and tries to use, you know, clean water and everything. But on the other hand, it's one of the few cities in all of California that doesn't fluoridate. I'm sure that's not by accident. And they're now trying to force the fluoride into the community using, uh, phony force grants to the California Dental Association and using the state mandates that are out there. Uh, but they're trying to force in this water of, excuse me, forcing the fluoride into the water at great expense, and then they're later going to pin it on the community, and, and they're even going to pay for the ultra-expensive process of removing the fluoride for this company just so they could still force medicate the community. And you called some of the locals, and you've tried to get a comment back from the apple juice maker. It's the best apple juice I've, I've tasted. Uh, and, no, they're going to put it in, and, and the government will come in and spend millions to even get a medium-sized city to do this. It's so important. The government cares so much about your teeth, Aaron. Yeah, this is a small, small community. But still, they're going to force in, you know, millions of dollars worth of fluoride treatment. And this article in the L.A. Times is astounding. They're claiming there's a tooth epidemic. Uh, this person they have a quote from, who's not even a dentist, uh, says it's the worst teeth she's seen outside of Nicaragua. Whatever that means. They're... 
They're tying... And then you called a local dentist and he said it was preposterous. He said it's outrageous. They're trying to say the migrant workers can't even afford to use toothpaste and have to brush with water, so therefore they have to medicate. The and then, and then he told you they come in flush with cash. Yeah, they come in and get dental work like anyone else at, at the rate of hundreds of dollars per time, per session, you know. And it's, it's a total fraud. I mean, on the one hand, if this is a total tooth epidemic, we need to have, you know, people on the ground investigating this. But we know. No, it's to total, do. total propaganda. Anything else, Aaron? No, that's just about it. I mean, they're forced medicating and writing this terrible propaganda. But hey, we are the conspiracy theorists. Everybody knows lithium and fluoride and mercury are good. I, I don't know. But see how they just put this outrageous stuff out in the open? And then I sent Nemo yesterday this video clip out of Boston, and I basically told him what I wanted him to write about, and then he went and found even more evidence. But, but here they are saying, oh, my gosh, something else is in the fluoride. It might be poisonous. We've stopped putting it in your water. It's clogging up the machines. And then on the bags says causes kidney, liver failure, deadly poison. If you breathe one whiff of this, you're dead. On the bag says...